I will tell you, there's a, I'm going to get into the sandboxing issue that, that, that's up on, an, on the other articles, uh, where if we want to get into that really quick, basically Apple sandboxing restrictive for some application. And what this is, is I also got that, basically, uh, many programs available through the Mac App Store are standalone single purpose tools and will not be affected by Apple Sandbox, but others will be forced to lose functionality. The thing that pisses me off about this, the same thing I'm freaking complaining about with iOS, if we're going to make neat little compartments, and the power behind the desktop was that we could you know, have port-to-port -port communications, via applications communicate with each other, and we can borrow each other's services, now everything has to play in a nice little sandbox, and if there's intercommunication that's going to be happening, it's going to be happening. It's going to happen over an Apple-only approved highway, and that means that they're the toll booth. And if you write something that isn't something that they want to allow to go through, you're stuck at the toll booth. So this is essentially making, in, in many regards, a lot of the same things that are happening in iOS. Well, no, that, uh, you know, that's what Bob was arguing earlier. It's like it, 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 it there, there is the quest to bring the iDevice to the desktop and basically dumb, rather than, they basically want to dumb the desktop down, you know, make it the giant shiny button. And I'm like, uh, no, Apple, <laughs> bad. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they want to make it one stupid, click the big red easy button, and I don't want that. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you know, what do you expect from the company that had the one button mouse for God knows how long? <laughs> now, I will say on OS X, I don't think it's going to be as bad. I'm more talking about a slippery slope. <laughs> oh, God, we got a good chat room today. Oh, the PC, you can be the highest level user. <laughs> yes, would you like to level up your PC? <laughs> So I don't want to, I don't want to, now, this, basic, basically, you know, like I said, this is a slippery slope that I'm seeing it at. But this is not about viruses, by the way. This is about the problem that I spoke about in another video where this stupid, this, I, I don't like it. I, I really don't like it. It's, we, we now have legions of non-programmers that want to call themselves programmers <laughs> making every shake and bake app in the, known to the planet that really don't care about anything other than um, the bottom dollar, which means what I'm saying is that they have no knowledge of the underpinnings as a programmer would, but address resources and everything else that is part of being a programmer. In other words, you no longer have to really be a geek to have a freaking app. And so what does that mean? Every damn schmuck out there makes a freaking app. And if that happens, now we really have to have command and control. So oh no no, bit. It's I told you in that as I told you in that show, it is so much worse than you think. Because there is not one but three companies whose whole business model is level marketing B two B B to consumer apps. Hi, we have an app, and we can reskin it for anybody. Go out and sell a million of them, and you'll get rich. The gut is out, is that everybody uses the same app, no need to code, don't worry, you don't need to know anything, just use our easy to click template generation system, which will create an app. And, <laughs> like it, 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 and now it's not just the get rich quick individuals, it's the whole level marketing pyramid, marching forward, a million of them forward. It's just, uh, it, uh. Yeah, and let me coin something here. Somebody had talked about, oh, why they don't understand why so many apps being downloaded on iOS users. It's not just iOS users. I know Android users are download apps and all this stuff. The, 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 the death that has happened here, the real issue that has happened here, it's not just Apple's fault. It's everybody it, that is really computed in a stupid ass app market mentality is that apps are equivalent to having friends on Facebook. <laughs> it's like, I want as many apps as I have friends on uh, Facebook. Bob, how many apps do you have on your so, phone? The coin, the coin, <laughs> wait a minute, the coin phrase I want to use is at me, like friend me. Because it's, it, it has, there's no context to the freaking app. We own apps just to have the apps. And, and I've met people that go, look, I have, I have 50 apps. And, and what does that do for you? 
don't know. It's, 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 it is as useful as, ha as having thousands of friends on Facebook. So, at me. And that's basically what is the sad truth is what has become of apps. It's no longer even looked at as a service. Why? Because the limitation of the, of the software that we've, we've tried to push and market as cool is so limiting that essentially apps that we're used to on the desktop, if we can come from the desktop environment, are so dumbed down that what else the hell are you going to program? Well, I, I beat your 50 person because I have 55 apps. <laughs> so, it's a, you know, it's essentially, we, we actually have denigrated a huge chunk of what we know as developing things for just saying, at me. And that's it. Well, and it, I mean, it, 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 you, you know what, but honestly, if we don't get away from this app mentality, the exact same fucking thing that happened with the internet is going to happen to applications, and that is hubs are going to form. You know, we already have hubs forming in the, th in the case of things like Hulu and Netflix, where like content's just kind of feeding to these few hub sources. You're going to have the one to five station or sources, and if you're not in those, well, yeah, you can be a fully independent and everything on your own, but why? Uh, and we're going to do the same thing with apps. It's like, well, how many search extension toolbar apps do you need? No, just go to search extension toolbar hub app. It, it has all the main tools and functions and, and everything else. Like, that's what's going to happen. We're going to have our hub app apps, and they'll be known, and the rest will be set. Because it, it it's already bad enough. You cannot find the cream through the crap. You have to sit there and search for 12 hours to find the good app. And you're like, who wants to do that? You know, forget it. I don't, I don't want the app. I, never mind. Oh, yeah, this app has to I have to do this for this app. Forget it. I don't want it. <laughs> right. And, and so, you know, you know, it's just like, this is, I mean, this is, this is how things are now. I mean, and, and to me, it's just, uh, you know, we've lost grasp of, of essentially uh, something that we, we may do very well in, in providing, you know, a result service rather than everything being a wind puff and bubble gum and really have no use other than to say it's a collection of fun. It's so sad. So, anyway. By the way, chat room, Linux is my everyday OS, and I get plenty of fucking work done on Linux, so I will vouch for that chat comment. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, what are these other Apple stories here? Uh, Crystal Prison. I mean, it's that. just... Tell me I'm wrong. You know, I, I know. I agree with you. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's gotten Tell me bad. I'm wrong on this. I mean, we're we are getting. It's just the, the app environment is now so destructive, and, and getting there is wow. So 